Hey, I... What the hell is this? Okay. Yeah. Is it your usual practice to enter a tenant's room without knocking? Hey, listen. We can smell the paint fumes in the diner, and the the customers that haven't already left are complaining. Oh, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean you for don't any have to apologize. All right, all right. Listen, I can, I can see it. I could have knocked. But it was obvious that Rebecca was painting the room, and I'm within my rights to talk to her uh, about look, it. Mike's right. I didn't ask, and I should have. Okay, you can, uh, you can take that up with Luke or Bobby, but I, I am less worried about losing customers than I am about you and Nicholas getting so close. I My relationship with Rebecca is really none of your business, Mike. Yeah, to a certain extent, I agree, but look, I have grown very fond of Rebecca, all right? And I've been around you long enough to know that you can be a little overwhelming when you decide to put on the full court press. Okay, well, since this is my life that you two seem to be discussing, let me tell you how it is. I really appreciate your concern, Mike. I find it oddly touching, but, you know, I know who Nicholas is and what he's about, so whatever happens between us, I walked into it, eyes wide open. Okay, just... Never let it be said that Mike Corbin can't hear it when he's been told about how. But listen, please, do me a favor. The next time you have the urge to redecorate, just give me a heads up so I, I don't lose any more business, okay? Fair enough. Okay. All right. Wow. I kind of wrecked the momentum. No, I didn't. I am really beginning to resent this day. Yes, Alexis. I need you to meet me at General Hospital right away. Wh why, are you hurt or? No, but you're gonna be. Try not to take your obvious disappointment personally. What do you want, Alexis? Apparently, Helena has compensated you well for your part in whatever havoc she's about to wreak. I'm willing to pay you double if you'll cut your losses, leave Port Charles, and leave Nicholas alone. When Elena recruited you, and I'm guessing it was in Greece, I must have been a sweet deal. I mean, Emily's a, a beautiful girl. Couldn't have been much of a hardship for someone to pay for you to look just like her. And then you throw a real life prince into the mix and kind of hard for a girl of modest means to turn that down, right? Here's what you don't know. Helena doesn't usually kill members of her family, but she always kills her pawns. So what I'm offering you essentially is an alternative of life. All right, so if I accept everything you say is true, then wouldn't Helena be just as apt to kill me if I were to walk out on her so-called deal? Ah, clever. That's a very good point. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but she would probably not waste the energy. All right, now I'm angry. Rebecca doesn't work with Helena. And if she did, I really wouldn't give a damn.